give me an example of a top democracy. Like for example, in Emar, a killing product was Dubai Hills. Killing product. Like where investors made uh, 100% ROI, even more than 100%. Which is a top democracy product that, uh, according to you, like a product where investors made a killing? Damag Lagoons. Okay. 100%. Why Damag Lagoons? It was our third community. Okay. We started in COVID. Okay. okay. In COVID situation, we had to be a little bit aggressive on the market with the payment plans and the prices. Mm-hmm. So I started in 1.453 bedroom. Okay. And then I started in 1.674 bedroom. Okay. 1.67 right now in my system, 2.9. 2.9? 2.9. From 1.6? 2.99, million. In my system, if you are going on the secondary market, you're okay. still going to have a very good price, 2.6, 2.7, 2.4. But still has a million dirhams. But what is the payment very plan? Good. The payment plan was even with percent over payment plan That's because amazing. it was COVID situation. It was the new community, the first cluster. Okay. So we had that. Okay. For the first clusters, we had something more interesting, percent over payment plan, 50-50 payment plan. Right. Okay. Um, and we had those three bedrooms. They are really doing very well on the market. Okay. Now, I am saying this was very crazy when it comes to money. I had a lot of investors there. Okay. okay? okay. I have a lot of investors that already exited, the, like they had the exit on the market. Okay. okay. Why? Because this project had appreciation in one year, very fast, moving very fast. Right now, if you want to get something in Santorini, you cannot. Basically, no, the prices have you just cannot. jumped up. Yeah. And even if you're like in the resale, it's very hard to get something in Santorini. I They're already sold. See, first clusters, just like I think this was the case in Damak Lagoon's first cluster, Arabia Ranch's three first cluster, Valley first cluster. Everything. These guys, the first cluster guys just made like uh, Dubai Hills first cluster. Everyone, Everything. the people who went in first, they just, the early birds, you know, they made... Unbelievable. So that's return. a success, uh, successful story behind this Riverside. That's why we had so much interest for Riverside because of Lagoon. Future of Tamak. What, what do you <laughs> see? <laughs> like, you know, you guys are getting into the ultra luxury segment a lot. I yeah, see that. The future like, of Tamak, I hope I'm going to be promoted. Okay. Uh, <laughs> then <laughs> um, we are very aggressive lately in the latest years yeah. with the luxury of segment. Okay. Now, it's exactly the same concept when you're going to buy in the first cluster. Now, we are coming to Dubai, uh, to the mark, and you're going to buy one of the first luxurious projects that the market is putting on the market. So, okay. automatically, they are going to be more competitive okay. with the prices. Now, apartments, we do have branded apartments. We do that for a while. We still have amazing opportunities because we believe in brand association. Mm-hmm. We are um, um, doing the project with Roberto Cavalli. We are doing the project with Edi Sogrono. Then we have collaboration with Rotana, Radisson, Fendi, Versace. Like we, we do have a lot of things. Okay. But now the hottest product on the market is going to be the villas, the mansions. The mansions. So which, which uh, ultra luxury product do you recommend me to study? The villas, 100%. Which one? Uh, because I'm, the ones in the Mark Hills, one on the golf course. The Utopia. Utopia, Autograph, and then Cavalli Estates. So basically, I have something branded, non-branded, with okay. Italian finishes. I have something ready this year, 2025, 2026, 2027. So basically, I can give to the client wherever he wants. Now, why those villas are a little bit more atypical? Okay. You're a big fan of MR. Just Please take my layout, take my layout and their their layout. Oh, no, no, and there's check. no ways. I, I love the layout. It's shocking. I was it's shocked. It's a mansion, proper mansion. It is a mansion. I could compare that with Jumeirah yes. Islands. It actually I could compare that with Jumeirah Islands. I, apart from after Jumeirah Islands, I've seen it in Damak. Those those no Damak Hills one funny story. I I had some so many investors invest into Damak Hills one, especially the Paramount Villas. Even they Amazing made insane profit. <laughs> I Ins- know. You know they're making. More than 10% ROI. Yes. More than 10%. 100%. And they were It's brand happy. association. Yeah. That's a powerful... Right now, if you're looking statistically on the market, a brand association has a potential up to 25% extra as uh, compared to the other ones, the normal one. For appreciation. Then for ROI, of course, it's much easier to rent it out, including holiday home. They really do like hotels. I really need to look into this, uh, that utopia. Cavalier you know why is this amazing? Who's giving your mans- mansion on the golf course with infinity pool, um, then private elevator, steam, sauna, gym. It's beautiful. Everything. Private One, theater. The garage. Exactly. The garage was 1, insane. 1,350 dirhams starting per square foot. 
That's the price that you just bought the townhouses in Neymar. Correct. 1,350 dirham per square foot. Yeah, of course, it's coming in a higher price because I'm giving you something from 10,000 uh, square feet up to 25,000 square feet. We are speaking about a mansion. Mm -hmm. But you have an amazing opportunity. Well, I, I will definitely study that. Amira Sajwani is trending on social media nowadays. There's a yes. lot of hype around her. She's so many events and she's considered one of the most powerful women entrepreneurs yes. in the Middle Indeed. East, in she's the world. She's an envision, yeah. Uh, how has that changed? Is that the change that the whole Shapurji yes. Palanji coming yes. in and... Yes. Amali when, villas and ultra luxury. That's yes, the change? Yes. When she joined the company, she's very well educated. When she joined the company, she changed completely everything. The system. Construction teams, then um, uh, the management strategy, uh, debt loans maintenance, then um, this Shapurji influence. And now we are going harder, harder on luxury because... Um, she believes very much in going towards those kind of investments. That's the market. I think that's the kind of crowd that's coming to Dubai as well. It yeah. just makes sense to target that market. That's why, let's say, Imar came up with Oasis. Uh, Miraz came up with Bulgari. Uh, right now, everyone's targeting sort of that market. Nakheel, the Palm Jabalali. Come on, they just confirmed. Like when last week, um, 6,700 multimillionaires, they are coming this year. Correct. China market, Africa market, pay attention there. Africa is yeah. coming. Today I was talking to this Indian Punjabi guy moving from the UK permanently, permanently. When I was on a call with him, he was packing everything. And, you know, I think July 15th, 18th, he's moving. Compl and this is one example, you know, like uh, I've got so many people moving in. Okay. Now, okay, I think we're getting towards the last questions. I know it went really long. Okay, so um, earlier, Demac was the biggest private developer. Now we've got Bengati, Danube, Samana. Everyone's entering that space. Uh, anyone that you guys consider as competition, like who's your, according to you, competing? Is your competition with uh, the big boys like Imar, Miras, Nikhil, or is your competition with these guys? Who do you What do you think? Now, you have different kind of competitions. Okay. First, you're going to have the direct and the di indirect competition. Okay. If we are speaking about the numbers and the share market, yeah, my biggest competitor is uh, going to be MR. Okay. We are very, very close in terms of how many units we can sell in a year or in a quarter. Okay. And we are very, very close how much, how many billions we can sell in the whole year or in a quarter. Okay, that's gonna be all the time. Mm -hmm. Now another thing is the government considered me uh, as being a very strong developer on the market from the private side. Correct. That's why all the time the market gonna have the priority to get plots right next to MR. Okay. Why? Because we cannot focus on the monopoly. You have to diversify a little bit, and all the time the market gonna be invited on the table, right? Okay. Because we are. We have a lot of power. Now, if we are looking to other developers, they are still very small compared to the numbers I can put on the on the table. Till now, the mark put on the market almost 50,000 units as ready. If you are going to Business Bay, every, everywhere you're going to see the mark. The mark. You, like uh, tourists can be even confused who's the mark, what's happening is yeah. like a branding company. Everyone, is, uh, everywhere is the mark. We have four big communities. The mark is the biggest community in the Gulf countries. Okay. okay. Uh, you may have competitors from project to project, but as a brand right now, I don't feel the mark has a very big competition because we have, as you said at the beginning, from uh, 600,000 yes. dirham, one bedroom apartment, and it goes up to 150 million, a very big villa with a private beach. So okay. name me how many developers have those kind of portfolios. True. They can meet me like, okay, who going to beat me on Nilo? It's very hard to give those kind of prices, right? Yes, yes. Uh, who going to beat me on uh, Kavali, um, on the one Samali, for example? They, they don't even have it. So that's really sweet because, you know, I had a lot of uh, investors like, you know, whose dream is to buy a property in Dubai, you know? So when a product like Elo came by, they were so happy that they could buy something, you know? <laughs> so that is, that, is, that is actually really sweet. Um, I think I'm I'm pretty much I th I think mm. the, the, see, I'm sorry I brought a big book today. <laughs> You know, it was not I, that bad. I, 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 I told, I told uh, my friend that, hey, you know what, I'm going to speak uh, to Damak, somebody from a representative from Damak, you know, tell me all your concerns, all your concerns, you know, let's, it's going to be a fight, but it's not much of a fight, actually. No, so that's, that's, that's really. it for me. Do you have any questions for me? So how many units did you sell? You're going to sell in uh, Violet? <laughs> 
50 remember see see if i if i manage to sell even 30 that will be like 10% of the stock right yeah almost yeah. 10% is decent yes. um, so is i decent. i think i think 10% of the stock if i manage to control that just make sure you have a mix of everything there whatever all the prices all the types all so whatever be, can i get you know how do i secure units <laughs> <laughs> how can i secure for yourself i can do that <laughs> How so basically how it's working we just going to collect your wise right now which okay. are 5%. 5% you can calculate anything between 90,000 100,000. What I collect from my clients right now is 100,000 sharp. Okay. 100,000 we're going to give you an earlier number. Basically the earlier number going to secure you going to help us to give you a slot. Okay. Okay? To choose the unit on 18th of July. Right now That's it? Yes. We're going to generate the token number before we'll talk one day before. This, you know, okay? So, <laughs> so, right now you give me passport. I don't want to come on the launch. <laughs> passport copy 100,000 dirham. Okay. I will generate you the Elia number, okay? okay? On 18, we're going to have a slot time when we're going to choose the units according for scan for sir. That's why it's very important to put the tokens very very fast. Okay. Okay? Okay. After that moment, we can generate the booking form, the client going to have we're going to sign and everyone is happy. It's basically it's very easy. But there are only 300 units. It will sell out on day 1. I know it's going to sell out on day 1. Um, we already have a lot of bulk deals, so Great, so that's I'm, only in 300 units I'm basically. I'm a little bit like skeptical that if we'll I can get give all unit. the units to my yeah. That right now is like I had a morning before I came here. I got, I got few checks like, And my client is like, what should I choose? Like, sir, it's not about what you like. It's not about what would you choose. I really hope I can give you the units. Okay. We are happy if we get the units. Every single unit is very good. Every single unit is 200 meters to uh, the water town with all the amenities, port town, then 200 meters to the mall, 200 meters to the mall, 200 meters to the school. Location top, premium. All the units have exactly the same layout. Now you get back to back or single road, doesn't matter. I hope you get the unit. The price is amazing. The payment plan is amazing. Plus 4% DLD waiver. Who's giving 4% DLD waiver? <sighs> But yeah, this is uh, for getting, the the, getting the units is going to be challenging. That's a discussion we'll have to have separate. And uh, but thank you so much <laughs> for coming and giving thank all the information. If you have any questions regarding Damac, please do mention in the comments and then I will clarify that maybe we'll have one of the podcast with Damac. associates for the next project. Oh, I'm going to I'm going to come check out the Utopian Cavalli and then we'll have a pro- we we'll have a discussion that. about yeah. ultra luxury and Damac. And I'll give, I'll bring all the all the competition for Utopia. It's like for example, I'm going to check out Utopia versus Oasis and what else do I have? I already have Nalsiba a report Gardens, for that. Apart. I did that already. <laughs> <laughs> I have it. I know all Ellington, the projects. Ellington Watercrest. You know, so I'm going to like make a comparison Everything. with all the ultra luxury and then we'll have another podcast. Yes. So But please yeah. find a mansion that I do have and then we compare. If you're going to look for my layout, you'll have no competition. I will study that and then I'll make the right comparison and then we'll have another podcast. Please. Done? Done. Thank you for watching. Thank you for having me.